Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Zeitgeist, the Interference Quiz of the Week. I'm Brad Mower. And I'm Bunnery. And uh, yeah, we're part of the team from Interference. They're drawing a describing game over at playinterference.com. Yeah. Uh, and so every week we take some of our favourite pictures that we've seen mm -hmm. that week and then build a quiz around it. Thank you. So yeah, Bunnery here picks out uh, some of her favourite uh, favorite drawings that everyone's done and then um, writes five questions about each. You know, it's sort of a topic kind of related to what the picture is. Yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's slightly surprising. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, and uh, then, you know, we ask you a few questions. Yeah. Uh, but it's all live and interactive, so you can play along. You'll just need to hit the Join Quiz button underneath the stream there, mm -hmm. and uh, you can then get involved. But cool. hello to everyone who's already pressed that button. Yeah. Uh, so, so far, I think we've got uh, Amber Hopkins. Hi, uh, Amber. Jess is here. Hey, Hi, Anthony's Jess. here as well. Hello. <laughs> um, hey, Anthony, has been streaming himself playing into fitness as well. Oh, you can't stop him now. He's yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I caused a bit last night. Did um, you? Yeah. No, no, it wasn't last night. It was the night before. We were out yeah, last yeah. night. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's excellent stuff. It is, yeah. Um, in fact, I think if you if you click his name in the chat, you can, uh, I think a pop-up thing appears and you can press follow if you want to follow uh, Hey Anthony as well. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, maybe check out some of uh, their streams. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, um, if uh, I guess we've got a few people watching, might have uh, someone watching who's not joined in. Mm -hmm. um, if you're new to all of this, then uh, yeah, it's a live interactive quiz, yep. uh, all multiple choice, yep. uh, run through mix play. So yeah. you just got to hit that join quiz button underneath the stream, and then when it's time to ask a question, we'll read it out, give Good you good. the four choices, and they appear underneath, set of blue buttons, you press those and say whichever one you think is the right answer. We've got some good rounds this week. Mm. I think you'll like them. Well, I don't see any of this ahead of time, you see. So I kind of get to play along mm -hmm. with all of you. Um, so uh, I know whose pictures they are, yeah. but I don't know which picture uh, or what the questions are going to be or anything like that. So it's a bit of a mystery for me too. Yeah. Do you want to know who I chose pictures from this week? Uh, okay, yeah. yeah. There's Frozen Banana. Mm. Um, there's Ant Eaterita. Ah, oh, very good. Yeah. Um, there's someone called Amar Jode, uh, Banana and Chippy, and Afterworld. Oh, okay. Mm. Afterwards is actually quite an uh, old player in terms of oh. they've been around for a while, okay. but they, they had sort of a big interval and then they've come they're back. They're back. Now. Oh, well, yeah, now yeah. they're featuring in the quiz. Mm. <laughs> they, uh, they were around in like 2012, 2013. Wow. Yeah. Hi, Olive. Nice to see you. Oh, we've got a few more people join in. <laughs> Hello, else? Uh, Renee Enigma, Olive Walnut, Ooh, and Renee. Grinning Goose have all just got here. Yay. Uh, I feel like I'm still too far over to the side. I still this way? I don't know. I still haven't <laughs> quite got used to the fact that we're sitting the other way around now, mm -hmm. and I always feel like I'm kind of off the camera a bit. Lean this way. Is, is that better? Way. Yeah, there we go. That was better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, cool. So, uh, yes, there we go. Mm -hmm. So, we're the house, aren't we, tonight? Yes, As yes. Every, every Sunday? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's quite... Um, it's quite a good thing to do, like, a live TV, isn't it? Well, not exactly TV, but you know, a live quiz show. I mean, most quiz shows you see on TV are completely recorded. Now, exactly, yes. Mm. But, you know, we uh, we like to make things even more complicated than they need yeah. to be. So, you know, why not do it live? Why not have it interactive? Why not mm. have everyone playing along? <laughs> you know, it's, it's all good fun. We like to live dangerously, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so this is all, you know, cutting edge stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, but it works, like, you know, 98% of the time, maybe. Yeah, I would say so. Um. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Uh, so uh, yeah, we've got a few uh, few people here now. Um, we normally say uh, seven o'clock start, um, yeah. although you might have, if you're there doing some mental arithmetic, you'll see that the timer finishes just after seven. Yeah. Uh, just in case a few people sort of rock up at seven o'clock on the dot, yeah. they've got time to press the button, get settled down and everything. Yeah, you don't want to miss the round one, do you? Well, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I mean, talking about missing round one, we should mm. probably say about last week's uh, top three. Oh, yeah. Uh, we had Grinning Goose mm. on 226, yeah. uh, was the winning score. Then we had Engulf Tick on 191 mm. and Rubberfish on 163. And Rubberfish was actually, it was their first time. Mm -hmm. um, they said they just kind of stumbled across the quiz yeah. randomly whilst looking through Mixer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, they missed the first round. Yeah. And then they still came third overall. That's pretty amazing, That's isn't it? Very good, nice work. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. If they turn up this week, I think they might win. Well, yeah, in, mm -hmm. especially if they're here from the start. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just whilst we're waiting for uh, everyone else to get here, um, you know, feel free to say hello in the chat. Mm -hmm. uh, or, you know, if you want to... Yeah. Join in and have our pre-quiz chat nonsense. Uh, feel free to get involved there. Yeah, 
there's lots of people having a chat there. I feel like we do sort of start broadcasting earlier and earlier each week yeah. um, with That's more time okay. for chat. Yeah. Apparently this this is you know a good thing. You should have like a you know ten minute warm up or something. Yeah. Um, before welcome everyone into the game mm -hmm. yeah. exactly tell them what to expect yeah so how many points do you get if you get a question right? yeah so the way this works is mm -hmm. uh, when we start asking questions you'll see it on the stream uh, and you'll see the potential answers on the stream and they'll also appear under the stream in a set of blue buttons yeah. and you just press the one that you think is the right answer you get 10 seconds to answer each question yeah. uh, and then we'll kind of show how everyone voted and um, wh which one was right so the way it works is that if you are correct, mm -hmm. get 10 points. If you're the fastest correct answer out of everyone playing, then you get a bonus point. Oh, that's important, isn't it? Um, yeah, and sometimes mm. those one single bonus points, you know, you see those kind of making all the difference at the top of the leaderboard. Absolutely. Yep. Because we got a leaderboard after each round, mm -hmm. so we can see how everyone does on a particular topic. And we also have a leaderboard at the very end, mm -hmm. so we can see who's done the best overall. Yeah. And uh, yeah, as I say, Grinning Goose finished on top last week with 226, which, you know, I mean, that's a pretty good score. Really. That is very good, isn't um, it? Quite a clear margin as well. Mm, that, yeah. Yeah. We don't tend to see that many over 200, so no, that, that was a true. pretty exceptional week, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, I can see we've got a few more people joining in, or, well, tuning Viewing. in. Yeah, yeah. If you want to get involved, then just hit that Join Quiz button underneath the stream mm -hmm. there. Um, it's all live mm -hmm. and interactive. So, uh, oh, hey, there we go, Phantom. it's Phantom. Hi, Phantom. Hello there, Phantom. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, it's all live and interactive. Once you press that join quiz button, you'll get a set of options appearing every time we're asking a question, and then you can vote for what you think is the oh, right answer. Oh, here comes Engel Tick. Oh, Hi. Engel Tick as well. Hello there. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> okay, so, you know, we've got about like five minutes or so to yeah. go. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, just reading our little uh, readout of, uh, of everyone <laughs> who's, who's joining there. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, you know, we've had a, a unusual week, really, haven't we? We, have. um, we yeah. normally spend most of our time working on, on interference mm -hmm. and the quiz and things like that. Yeah. Um, oh, Phantom saying, just came in from shoveling some slushy snow that will freeze tonight. It's nice and warm inside. Ooh. We had snow. We actually, actually. had yeah. snow, didn't we, on Friday night? Mm. Yeah, it was quite a surprise when we looked out. <laughs> um, yeah, I just mean, a I... a little bit of snow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I kind of... My sort of baseline for for snow has sort of uh, changed after um, hearing people talk about snow in their areas on mm -hmm. our Discord server. Like in Canada, um, for example. For example, uh, Amber, ha Amber Hopkins um, occasionally posts screenshots of her weather app mm -hmm. uh, saying, like, feels like minus 30. <laughs> and I'm like, that's not a number. Minus 30, no. Well, it is. Minus 5 is cold, and then it kind of stops. You know, mm. that's, that's about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, hello there, uh, Crash Thatch and Shaz hello. Riff and Dom and Joey. Oh, Thank good. you for joining us. Everyone's here tonight. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like I. Uh, oh, Phantom's saying it's raining here right now, one degree above freezing. Wow. Um, oh, Actually, yeah, hello, it's been Crash quite it. quite cold here, hasn't it? Mm, um, I can't quite see our weather thing from yeah, here. I think it's, it's going to freeze tonight, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. And maybe snow tomorrow above zero. night. Mm. Mm. Fun, fun. Let's see. <laughs> That's the advantage of working from home. I don't have to leave the house <laughs> at all. Um, no such thing as cold, just wrong clothing. Well, very true. You see, I always say I'd rather be too cold than too hot. Because no, no. if you're too cold, you mm. put more clothes on, everything's fine. <laughs> when it's too hot, I mean, what do you do? You know, you get too hot and then there's nothing you can do other than buy air conditioning. Yeah. Or a nice fan or something. Uh, we've swapped sides tonight. Yeah, oh, the, yeah. Well, this this is our our 2019, new. Twenty yeah, nineteen. Yeah, 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 yeah. It happens. Uh, yeah. It confuses it's me. It's happening on the videos and everything, isn't it? You see, I'm I'm sort of naturally leaning off to the side again because yeah. I'm used to being over there. Yeah, it's yeah. it's confusing. I like it. <laughs> Not in forty minus forty. Minus forty now. Oh, good grief! <laughs> I can't imagine minus it being that cold. That's, really, that's just yeah. that's madness. Uh, I've never lived anywhere cold. No, no. When I lived in South Carolina, it was really warm all through the winter. We had about two weeks of winter when mm. you had to put a, a jacket on. The rest of the time, you just, just wore t-shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rest of the time, it was just t-shirts. Mm. It was great. Well, wow. <laughs> it's all right, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, it looks like we've got a few more people who have tuned in that yeah. haven't pressed the button. Um, <laughs> if, uh, yeah, welcome. If this is your first time watching, it's basically a live interactive quiz show. We're going to yeah. kick off in a few minutes' time. Uh, we run the online game uh, Interference, mm -hmm. which you can find at playinterference.com. And this is our weekly quiz based around some of the drawings that people have done. So, Bunnery here, find some interesting drawings and then 
does some rounds full of quiz questions based on those drawings. Yeah. So what we're going to do is five rounds, five questions each, and you can play along Ooh. and uh, we'll give you a score depending on how you do. Yeah. All you got to do, hit that join quiz button underneath mm -hmm. the stream. Yeah. And then when we're asking a question, you'll see four <laughs> options appear down there underneath the stream. Uh, just press the appropriate blue button for whatever you think the right answer is. Uh, well, it's multiple choice, so, you know, if you don't know the answer, you can guess one. Exactly. If you're not mm. sure, just have a guess. You might be right. Yeah. And if you are right, you'll get 10 points. And you get a bonus point if you're the fastest correct answer. Yeah. Sometimes they make all of the difference. Oh, Ferret's here. Hi, Ferret. Oh, mm -hmm. hello there, Ferret. <laughs> um, oh, there you go. Uh, Amber Hopkins saying minus 40 Fahrenheit and Celsius are the same. No way, are they? Mm. I don't know that. Do we say Celsius anymore? We might say centigrade to make it sound no, no scientific. Idea. I, don't I know. never know what I'm supposed to say. Um, so, um, so yeah, uh, anyone who wants to uh, get involved, just hit that join quiz button. Um, thank you for the follow there, Wicked Crew and 951. Wow, the Wicked Crew are here. Yeah. Awesome. With I hope the they join in. The sound of the wickedness. Yeah. Perhaps, yes. Cool. I hope they join in then. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you want to <laughs> play along, just hit that join quiz button underneath <laughs> the stream. Uh, you can join in at any point if you yeah. just want to watch a bit. Watch but, a bit, then know, join in a bit, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Hit that button. It's all multiple choice if you're not sure about an answer. Hi, Shaz and Rev. How are you doing? <laughs> nice to see you here. Yeah, Ooh. 20 degrees C. Hmm. Oh, okay. 20 degrees C. 30-minute <laughs> drive in this weather. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not really into driving or, well, being outside. Really. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm a big IT nerd. I'm quite happy, happily, you know. Just staying inside all Just the time. Just live life virtually, don't you really? <laughs> yep, it's true. Now I get to interact with people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mr. Tapestry is here as oh, well. Oh, goody, Excellent. Mr. Tapestry. Hello Yay. <laughs> Nice to see you all. Okay, so we're going to kick off in just <gasps> under a minute. Just a few seconds. Mm. Oh, can you imagine what the first round is going to be about? I have literally no idea. <sighs> it's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, of course, this is the fun thing. I don't actually see any of this stuff ahead of time. Bonnery <laughs> writes it all herself and picks the items. In secret. In secret, So yeah. <laughs> I know which authors uh, have drawn the pictures, but I don't know which pictures um, or, uh, or anything, really. So I get to play along with you. It's yeah. all a mystery to me. But you don't get points. No, I don't get, I don't get points. No. I might fix it so I can actually play along and get points, but be shown off to the side. Yeah, the maybe. Yeah. Have your own special little point. Yes, exactly. Or Ooh, oh, hello, Bosun78. Hello there, Bosun78. How are you doing? Thank nice you for joining you. us. You're just in time. Mm, yeah, we'll start just any about second now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> we'll talk you all through the first uh, first question, how yeah, it yeah. works. Okay. It's all nice and easy. It's a quiz, okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so mm -hmm. the way this works is Bunnery here has found some interesting drawings that uh, our players have drawn on interference this week. Uh, for example, uh, Frozen Banana was shown the description playing golf in a Scottish castle. And then this is how they interpreted that. So That's we got, really good, yeah. You know, got, got someone in a kilt there. Yeah, I like the um, kilt. And yeah, the golf club. I, I like Nessie in the background there as well. <laughs> yeah. That's that's pretty cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean... Um, Yes, golf. Scotland in general, maybe. What's everyone thinking? Golf, Scotland. Donald Castles. Trump. Yeah. Donald Trump. <laughs> um, I kind of see where you're going with that, yeah. <laughs> golf, no, Scotland, you? castles. Um, I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe you're going to be doing Scotland. Let's perhaps, have a look yeah. then, shall we? Oh, I should just say as well at this point, uh, in case anyone's wondering, um, one of the requests we had uh, the other week was... Could you have something on the stream that moves all the time so you can tell if the stream gets stuck? Um, which is what this thing in the top right hand corner is. Um, it's nothing special. It's just that if that stops moving, it means your stream's got stuck. Um, <laughs> if you do have any issues with the stream, you can refresh at any point. All of your scores and things are all logged on our end. So you'll just come straight back in where you were. You won't lose any progress. Okay, let's see what this is about. Right. Round one. Scotland. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it, I think? Yeah. Do you want to do the first round? Okay. Um, which lock in Scotland is best known for alleged sightings of a cryptozoological monster first reported in 1933? Is it Loch Tay, Loch Lochy, Loch Ness, or Loch Lomond? Was it Lomond? Lomond. Like Loch Lomond. Lomond. Yeah. I was even trying to impress everyone <laughs> by doing Loch with the, <laughs> the guttural kind of thing there. Um, okay, so everyone going for Loch Ness. Oh, you've heard um, of the Loch Ness monster. <laughs> mm, I mean, I feel like that's pretty 
common knowledge, even if you haven't been to Scotland or anything. I think everyone's heard of that. Well, yeah. seemingly, everyone has everyone heard of it. That. <laughs> All right, so everyone voted for Loch Ness. That's well, the right answer. I wonder who got there fastest. Mm. It was yes. Jess. Oh, well done. Taking just over a second. You get Very the extra good. point. All right. Oh, Phantom says, my Wi-Fi is sporadic right now, so I may go in and out. Okay, fair oh, enough. Okay. <laughs> As I say, you know, all of your scores are logged on our end, so yeah. you'll be able to come back in exactly where you Just were. Just stay with us. <laughs> okay, next up on Scotland. On January the 25th, it's Burns Night. What traditional Scottish food is eaten with neeps and tatties to celebrate? Is it haggis, scotch egg, porridge, or deep-fried Mars bar? Now, the Scottish do like all those foods. Um, can, can I explain neeps and tatties? Oh, please that do. Yeah, please do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, neeps and, and tatties are basically turnips and potatoes. Yeah, mashed uh, up together. Yeah. It's really nice, actually. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Neeps as in turnips and tatties as in... Potatoes. Tatties, yeah, potatoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, okay, everyone going for haggis, um, <laughs> because p presumably that's the most stereotypical, Scottish obvi <laughs> obvious Scottish thing. There. Are you sure? <laughs> well, all, all of these are Scottish, I assume. Does Absolutely. Scotch egg come from Scotland? I don't know. I, I just put that in because it sounds like it did. <laughs> mm, it's true. Um, deep fried Mars bar comes from Scotland as well, um, and is actually really nice, just not too much in one go. Yeah. Those little fun size ones. Deep perfect. fried O's, yeah. perfect, really good. <laughs> uh, Phantom Sen, that sounds good. Went to Scotland on a school trip, had Japanese noodles. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> why, why not? Yeah. I hope they were deep fried. It's in Scotland, everything's deep fried. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> anyway. Anyway, really that, that was the, the pause of, oh, shall I tell an no, anecdote? No, no, no let's, let's focus. Okay, so Haggis was the right answer there, so you're all getting that right. And ah, Grinning Goose, goose is fastest, fastest under a second. Wow, wow. that's good going. <laughs> yeah, sometimes right. it is the obvious one. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Oh, Hugh oh, Miss Seller, Seller. Here. nice to see you. <laughs> How's it going? Very good to see you. You've only missed two questions, so, uh, you know, you've still got a pretty good chance here. Uh, there are many distilleries in Scotland, but what spirit is made in them? Is oh, it, what is it vodka, whiskey, rum, or brandy? Oh, uh, thank you for the follow there as well, Bruja. Uh, feel free to get involved if you want. Hit that join quiz button under the stream. Yeah. We've only just started. You haven't missed too much. Yeah. Ah, I think whiskey, the one with the E, is that the Irish version? I always get it the wrong way around. Yeah, I think whiskey. Well, I did check that the Scottish one is okay. without the E. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, E is mm -hmm. uh, Irish. Then. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I was w worried you were going to be really harsh and have whiskey and whiskey with an E, and no, we have no, to I guess which that, one. No, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it looks like everyone has gone for whiskey. This wow, is three questions really well in a row that everyone's gone for the same thing. People that, know a lot about Scotland. That happens. Yeah, I know. Okay, you're all right. So it's all down to who's fastest. And Phantom, Phantom. is fastest. Oh, very good. Under a second, 0.88, mm. fastest so far. There are a lot of distillers. You can go and visit them, and you can try samples, and you can mm. see how it's made. I went to a distillery in Ireland, um, I've been to one in Scotland. Mm. Mm. Like Glenfiddich and all those, you know. Uh, oh, this is a good question. Mm -hmm. What is the national animal of Scotland? Is it the unicorn, the Scottish wildcat, the stag, or the sky terrier? I'll be impressed if everyone gets this right. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's <Summer>. quite interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if Jess is playing with the sound on. Um, if if she is, uh, yeah, yeah, I put that moving thing in uh, Just for, for you. <laughs> um, so um, <laughs> yeah, ev ev everyone else, if you're wondering, that's what the thing at the top right is. It's so you can tell if your stream gets stuck if you haven't got the sound on. Mr. Tapps seems perplexed by some people voting for unicorn. Yeah. Um, like there's no such thing as a unicorn. Well, exactly. Mm. Um, so yeah, I mean, thirty-eight and a half percent of people went for unicorn. And they're right. Which is the right answer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how weird is that? How can you have something that doesn't exist as your national animal? Um, because, well, you know, this, that's how we roll in the UK. Um, I mean, oh, gosh. <laughs> you know, uh, wh whales, I, I'm not going to spoil anything else. Am I talking about this kind of thing? No, no I think we're nearly done with okay. it. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, whales, I mean, they've got their big red dragon. You know, that's kind of cool. I, I feel like Scotland looked at that and were like, yeah. 
we should have a unicorn. <laughs> you know, we've got lions, haven't we, in, in England? Yeah, not that we ever have any wild um, lions around. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. um, Scotland were just like, oh, I can have a unicorn, why not? And there it is. <laughs> Actually true. Uh, the best mm-hmm. mythical animal is a jackalope, though. Yes. A jackalope? Mm. What's that? Um, like a jackal and an antelope? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, okay. Are they, actually, are they mythical? I don't know. What, unicorns are? Jackalopes. Oh, jackalopes, I don't know. I have no idea what they uh, are. <laughs> I, I watched a, like an animated Pixar kind of thing about a jackalope once. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I digress. You do. <laughs> so, uh, under half of you getting that right, um, you know, because you went for the sensible answer. But <laughs> yeah. no, no, this, this is the UK. Yeah. We're crazy. Like the monarch of the Glen, he was a stag, wasn't he? That's a famous painting from Scotland. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I thought that was like a program that used to be on. Oh, it did, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. sure <laughs> it did. <laughs> All right, so uh, oh, Amber wasn't really fooled. Nice. She went straight in for Unicorn there, yeah. taking just over uh, a, a Oh, well, that could make a quarter. difference, couldn't mm. it, to the uh, leaderboard? Okay, so moving on. Last one on Scotland then. Scotland invented golf and it's been played there since the 15th century. But which golf course is known as the home of golf? Is it Carnoustie, yep. Trump International, St Andrews or Muirfield? There you go. Trump gets a mention. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know this, but I f- yeah I feel St Andrews is the obvious answer in quotes because that that's the one I've heard of mm. the most. Yeah, yeah. Um, is it called Royal St Andrews or something? Or Royal is it? something? It's got Royal in there somewhere, I think. Well, I mean that sounds legit then. Mm. Uh, I I think St Andrews um, yeah. is is going to be right. Nobody went for Trump. No, strange. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, most of you getting that right. Mm. Just over 83% of you getting the right answer. And fastest was oh, in golf tick. Well mm, done. Perhaps he knows golf. his golf. Okay, <laughs> very good. Uh, yeah, it's pretty fast though. Just under mm. a second and a half. Well. All right, let's see how we all did with Scotland then. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so, Amber Hopkins out in front on 51, actually tied with Green and Goose and Phantom, but seemingly answering a little bit faster overall. Okay. Uh, then we've got Hey Anthony on 50, so getting right. all of them yeah, right, but good. missing out that bonus point. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we've got Jess and Engulf Tick both on 41, uh, at one point ahead of Rene Enigma, Olive Walnut, Crash Thatch, and Mr. Tapestry, who all got four right. Then we've got Shaz and Riv, Dom and Jerry, Ferret, and Humid Seller, all got two right, and both on 78, joined us kind of part way yeah, through yeah. there. Yeah. So they're probably just getting all settled down. Okay. All right, excellent stuff. Human Cell saying two out of three, not bad. Yeah, you know, that's pretty good going. Yeah. Um, oh, of course, yeah, Human Cell came in part way through of as course, well. Of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, just before we move on, we've got a few people uh, in the audience who haven't hit the button, I think. Uh, yeah. If you want to get involved, press that join quiz button underneath the stream and you can play along. It's all live and interactive. Yeah, easy to join in. So, next round then. Uh, Anteater Eater was shown the description, Nanny Duck flying with a baby to try and soothe him to sleep and drew this, which is excellent. It's a fantastic picture, um, isn't it? I've just that. been poked in the leg, uh, which I think Don't say. is the hint. Do not say anything else because you're going to spoil one of the questions. Exactly. So, I'm, I'm not going to say anything here. Uh, Phantom says ducktails. Okay, what else we got? Birds, sleeping, ducks, babies. Mm. Um, oh yeah, have you seen this week's um, cool sticker that you can do uh, oh. that Hey Anthony's done? Oh, that's it's like cool. um, like sort of monocle toast guy, <laughs> like uh, well bread guy saying bravo. <laughs> cool. Uh, that saying sleep, babies, ducks. Um, I Nobody think this is, is right be, so far. I think this oh, is going to be something very wait specific. A wait a minute, yeah, someone's getting some part of it right there. Let's go and see. But I, I don't say anything in case I, I nope. spoil the question. Okay. All right. Let's see what it's about. Fictional, Fictional nannies. nannies. Yeah. Okay. Nannies in books and films. Are you uh, ready? Oh, Boson78 saying, how do I enter my answer using an Xbox controller? Um, so we haven't actually tried this on an Xbox because we don't have access to it. But I think you should be able to use your D-pad to select one of the buttons when they appear and then press A to, um, to select it. Um, if it doesn't work, uh, you know, you might be able to hop on uh, to a, a computer or a phone, use the mix of website or app, 
and you should be okay. Mm. Uh, but yeah, we um, we haven't actually tested this on an Xbox, but fingers crossed. We should. <laughs> okay, first question. The nanny in the Auntie to Eater's drawing comes from a cartoon about a vampire duck who she always addresses as Ducky Boo. What was the series called? Yeah, I think you're kind of running over on I question. I know, that's quite a long a question, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so. Was it Danger Mouse, Count Duckula, Vampire Ducks or Trapdoor? Do you remember all those? I do. Well, I, I, it's a good job you poked me because otherwise <laughs> I, I would have totally, totally spoiled this. I know. <laughs> uh, okay, so most of you are going for Count Duckula. Uh, mm. Yeah, a few from Danger Mouse, Vampire Ducks, yeah. Trapdoor. I don't remember Vampire Ducks. No, Is I that made that up. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, Trapdoor, I remember. Danger yeah. Mouse. Um, Count Duckula, mm. um, that was. Was that probably 90s? Possibly. I think. Yeah. Um, it was very popular, wasn't why it? Why were there so many cartoons about ducks? I have no idea. It's a good point. They are a lot, aren't they? He was a vampire duck who was a vegetarian. Mm. So he ate broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that was the right answer, in case yeah. you hadn't guessed. And the are cute animal. <laughs> um, yeah, Count Duckula. That was, that was pretty cool. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, so, um, well, almost all of you are getting that right, actually. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, and who was fastest was Mr. Tapestry. Tapestry. Oh, he must remember Count Duckula, Ducky Boos. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's go to question two. It's a little bit shorter. In The Sound of Music, how many Von Trapp children did Maria have to look after? When she arrives there, were there six, ten, eight, or seven Von Trapp mm. children? I don't know. I mean, I, I this was on TV not so long yeah, ago, Yeah, there was a live version, wasn't there, over Christmas? Yeah. Um... They formed a choir, they all There's, sang. Yeah, like they stood on the stairs mm. and then the little one yeah. popped out from behind. Yeah. There didn't seem to be that many. Five? Oh, okay, there isn't a five. There's six. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, six. What do you think? I mean, more than six. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go six. Good for you. That, that means I've got <laughs> seven. seven. Yeah. Okay. Well, Apparently, there were seven children when she arrived, and then after she married uh, Mr. Von Trapp, they had three more children. Spoilers. Yeah. So they had ten in the end. But of course, that bit wasn't in the film. Okay. Yeah. So when she arrives there, yeah, she looked after seven. Um, okay, so about a quarter of you getting that right, mm -hmm. but there was a bit of a spread on, on yeah, everything else, Yeah, it's difficult really. to remember how many. You just remember seeing a choir of them, but you can't really think how many there were, mm. unless you know all the names. I think one was called Liesel. That's all I know. I'm I'm just sort of I keep remembering the kids from a series of unfortunate events, you know, because they, they <laughs> are like not going to help. Baby as well. Yeah. That's not going to um, help. Okay, so uh, Engulf oh, Tick was, was fastest good. there, so yeah. just over a second and a half. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and a, nice one. a quarter of you getting it right, pretty much. Okay, question three: The British film Nanny McPhee was based on a book by Christiana Brand, but what was the original book called? Was it Nanny Thompson? Nurse Vera, Nanny Ethel, or Nurse Matilda? Mm. Jess in the chat saying there was a book. Yeah, uh, I didn't know this. absolutely. A series of them, I think, actually. Now, okay, most people going for Nurse Matilda. Nanny Thompson is the second most popular answer. But it was played, she was played, she was by, played Emma. by Emma Thompson. That's right. So I think yeah. that's the red herring. <laughs> yeah. um, Nurse Vera, Nanny Ethel, Nurse Matilda. Yes, which other sounds nice. For some reason, Ethel jumped out at me. I don't yeah. know, but yeah, Matilda. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know. Hey, Anthony's saying I've never even heard mm. of these. Um, okay, it's very educational, this quiz. <laughs> yeah, you sort of learn things by, oh, uh, do. Uh, by osmosis and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, Nurse Matilda was right. Nice Matilda, yeah. Just under half of you getting that right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And Phantom, Phantom was Well done, Phantom. <laughs> oh, okay. Phantom watched the bonus features on that. Ah, Fate, there you go. So it's like... always worth watching those then, isn't it? <laughs> Jess saying didn't know it was originally a book. Yeah, I didn't uh, Didn't know that either. Yeah. yeah. There um, you go. Mm, interesting. <laughs> it's quite a good film, actually. It is a good film. Have, have you seen that? I have, yeah. yeah. I've seen it a couple of times. Um, they did a sequel, actually, I think. Yeah, mm. that's right. Um, anyway, moving on. Mm-hmm. Question four. In which film did a father impersonate an elderly nanny to get closer to his children again? Was it Mrs. Doubtfire, Fathers of the Bride, Mary Poppins or Home Alone? I've never seen this, but you know. it's it's so kind of popular oh, and, awesome. and things that yeah. I, I think most people will know it. Okay, um, most people went for Mrs. Doubtfire. Um, 
couple of votes for Home Alone. Okay. Um, yeah, Mrs. Mrs. Doubtfire, because mm -hmm. that's the name of the nanny that he, he dressed that's up right. as. That's uh, right. Robin Williams. Yeah, it, I think. yeah, yeah. It, was, uh, it was awesome. Um, but yeah, I've never seen it. Um, oh, it's so it's good. Meant, meant to be really good. Yeah, it is. That's... Uh, okay, so almost all of you going for Mrs. Doubtfire. That's the right. I who got it faster, so. Uh, hey, hey Anthony, Anthony oh fastest. well done your first fastest answer <laughs> oh hey Anthony saying was just in San Francisco too considered visiting the house oh mm. I didn't know that you didn't ago. see the house when you were in San Francisco we should have looked for that shouldn't we I saw they they have a tunnel that was painted like uh, rainbow stripes like um Robin Williams's outfit in um Mork and Mindy oh okay mm -hmm. uh, which I saw on the on the tv when they were kind of doing the traffic <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. There we go. Um, okay. Well, there we go. Yeah, I should watch that sometime. Yeah, you should. Question five: Nana was nanny to the Darling Children in Peter Pan, but was she a female goat, a Saint Bernard dog, their grandmother, or an elderly aunt? So, who was Nana? Who looked after the Darling Children? You know, like Wendy and her little brother. Now, I mean, I I don't think I've ever seen Peter Pan or really? read it or anything. Really? No, no, wow. no. I'm, I kind of miss all this stuff. You should catch up on some I, of these. I probably should. <laughs> but for some reason, my gut feeling was a dog. Oh. Um, I mean, a female actually? goat, that's, that's a nanny. That's a goat. nanny. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Um, their grandmother, I mean, well, that's too, too mm. sensible, isn't it? An mm. elderly aunt. Uh, but, but yeah, for some reason, I had it in my head that the nanny was a dog. Mm hmm. So, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I, I feel like maybe I'm just out of touch and I need to <laughs> catch up and watch all of this you stuff. You really do. I have to take okay. hand. Yeah, dog was the right answer, yeah, though. Sure. Uh, yeah. Just over three quarters of you getting that right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And hey, hey Anthony, Anthony Francis. Wow, he's good on these films. Nice. <laughs> okay. Well done. Oh, that's the last one on fictional nannies. It is. All right, let's see what everyone knew about that. Phantom got them uh, all Phantom right. How cool is that? in there. Mm. Uh, hey, Anthony saying, saw Finding Neverland. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think I might have seen a little bit of that, actually. Mm, maybe I that's haven't. where I picked some of this yeah, stuff up maybe. from. Uh, okay, so Phantom was on top there, getting all of them right and one fastest. Followed by Hey, Anthony, 42. So four right and two fastest. Two fastest, yeah. Engulf Tick on 41. Mr. Seller on 40. And Mr. Tapestry on 31. Yeah. We've got uh, Amber Hopkins, Jess, Ren, Enigma, Olive Walnut, Crash Thatch, and Ferret all on 30. Uh, Green and Goose on 20. Didn't too, too well on that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's take those numbers and then mash them into the score from the previous round. Wow. That gives us Phantom in the lead now yeah. on 102. Uh, hey, Anthony, literally wow, he's one come question up there. behind. Yeah, just 10 points. That's mm. one question, yeah. So, uh, yeah, 92 Fabulous. points there. And in Gulf Tick on 82. That's so close. I know, yeah. Pretty close, though. Uh, mm. You know, Amber, fourth place, only mm. one point behind. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. We'll have to kind of see how it nice goes one. there. Let's see what the next round's about, hey? <laughs> just saying, come on, I want to make it up into the top three. Okay. Well, you know, it's only one one question. <laughs> You're in not it. too far away. Oh, no, two no. questions You're in not it, too far away. Right. What I've got here, radioactive fish. Yeah. So, a Marjod mm -hmm. is that perhaps? Yeah. Uh, a Marjod is uh, shown the description radioactive fish, and drew that. That's quite cool because it's sort a really of like good picture, yeah. it's like a fish, mm. but also an atom. Mm. In fact, I almost picked the description after this uh, for picture. Of the week, uh, for description of the week. Yeah, yeah I quite liked it. Um, okay. So it was like, wait a minute, that <laughs> fish is an atom or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, so what do we think here? Phantom saying, this will be about radioactive fish educating us all. <laughs> yeah, could be. Radioactive um, elements, fish, radioactive stuff. Hello, um, Pro2 oh, Gamer. Hello. Nice to see you. Yeah. Yeah, I, come and join in. Yeah, yeah. I remember you were around on Wednesday watching uh, oh, Interference yeah. and Chill with Ferrix. Yeah. I remember you being in the chat. Uh, yeah, we're doing like a little live interactive quiz. If you want to have a go at that, uh, you can just hit the join quiz button yeah. underneath the stream. Just starting a new round, so mm -hmm. you're in perfect time. <laughs> toast back <laughs> yeah bravo bread yeah bravo bread <laughs> well you okay. see i want to say bread instead of okay toast, yeah yeah obviously. of course all right so what do we think this was then radioactivity mm, okay a bit of science here now mm. <laughs> i think it's your turn to read the question okay all right so radioactivity then the three types of radioactivity are alpha beta and what is oh, it yes, gamma omega delta or sigma 
I learned a lot reading and researching this one because I didn't mm. know. I didn't know there were just three types. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I know this. Do you? Uh, yeah. I what think it's gamma. For? Yeah. Um, so almost everyone's saying gamma. Someone going for omega there. Mm. Um, I think this is where you can tell that we're in the UK because I said beta, I think. Yeah. Um, if we're in the US, they say beta, don't they? Do they? Yeah, I don't okay. know. <laughs> um, just saying, I think, because alpha and beta are particles and gamma is waves. Yeah, is mm. gamma the, the worst... Like the most ionized. I, mean, I probably shouldn't I say know. anything. I've got no idea. I anyway, I, uh, I digress. You do. Um, okay, so most of you are going for gamma. That's correct. That's the right answer. That's pretty impressive. Very I didn't know that. Good. Okay. Um, I see uh, Pro Two Gamer went for gamma in the chat there. Uh, yeah, like I say, if you want to uh, hit that join quiz button, you get a, a set of uh, buttons underneath the stream. And you can uh, press there, and we'll like give you a score as well. You know, ten points for a right answer, mm -hmm. uh, a bonus point if you're the fastest right answer. I think um, sorry, it says that Vex, uh, Mr. Tapestry is enjoying this. <laughs> hey, Anthony, fastest wow. there. Wow. Point six five seconds. That's pretty just fast. Just over half a second. Yeah. Very fast indeed. Impressive. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm all about science as well. Ooh. I like nerd rounds. <laughs> Oh, and then I have to pronounce people's names. Um, okay, so question two. Uh, this looks a bit French, perhaps. Henri Becquerel yeah. discovered radioactivity, but which scientist coined the term? So coined the term radioactivity. Radioactivity, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Pro 2 Gamers hit that button. Oh, Excellent. brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> All right, in a sec, you should see some buttons appear underneath your stream. Just press yeah. whichever of the blue buttons you think is the right answer. So was it Ada Lovelace, Nikola Tesla, Mary Curie, or Daniel Fahrenheit. Do you know this one? Do um, you think you do? I feel like I could rule out... Well, Ada Lovelace is uh, computer science. That's right, yeah. Daniel Fahrenheit, I mean, that's presumably got be to temperature, be temperature. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Tesla was into all kinds was, of stuff. He was amazing. But not so much radiation, no. I think. No. Marie Curie is, you know, the one most associated with it. I think. Mm. Uh, didn't Ada, Ada Lovelace do something to do with first That's computers? Right. Yeah, yeah. First yeah. computer program, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, yeah. Because, um, uh, you know, people say like, oh, you know, IT, computer science, programming mm. and all this, it's very male dominated. I mean, it shouldn't be really yep. because the, the pioneers in the field were, were female. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, so Marie Curie, the right answer there. Yeah. Three quarters of you exactly getting yeah. that right. And the fastest was Hey Anthony. Hey, oh, he knows science. <laughs> Just over a second. Mm. Very good. On a roll. Yeah, that's nice work. <laughs> okay, question three. Uh, oh, Bruger has joined in as well. Yeah, hey, well Bruger. Done. How's it going? Um, so, uh, yeah, we're just about to ask a question here. So in a moment, when the answers appear, you'll get a set of blue buttons underneath the stream. Just hit whichever one of those you think is the right answer. Okay. So which is the most radioactive, naturally occurring element? Is it radon, bismuth, polonium, or thorium? Which right. of those is the most radioactive, do you know? Well, there's two things I don't know. Mm. I don't know which is the most radioactive, <laughs> and I don't know which is naturally occurring. Um, so... Well, I think probably they all are, I would presume. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'd be tempted to say polonium because it's been in the news a lot. Because isn't that oh, what yeah. they used to poison that diplomat? Yeah, they put it on the end of his umbrella or something yeah. strange. Yeah. Uh, so I'd be tempted to go for that. Mm. Um, she said polonium was discovered by Marie Curie oh. and she named it polonium after Poland, her home country. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hmm. Education. <laughs> um, Phantom saying chemistry was seven years ago. Yikes. <laughs> Amber saying chemistry is now. <laughs> um, it's a shame uh, Rafe Leader's not here because I think he's. Um, oh, is he? Oh, he is scientific, um, isn't he? Yeah. Biochemist, perhaps? Mm, yeah. Um, okay, so mm, just over half of you saying radon, polonium the next most popular, then thorium. It is polonium. polonium, that's right. I see. That is the strongest, most radioactive. Yeah, I mean, I literally had no idea. I only said that because of it being mm. mentioned in the news. Yeah. Although having said that, it was quite a while ago, actually. We were <laughs> just, just a talking while ago. about it again <laughs> recently. Uh, okay, so uh, just under a third of you getting that right. Mm -hmm. And hey, Anthony, Anthony again. On a roll. Wow, he's storming through mm -hmm. this one. 
Phantom saying, getting lucky with my guesses these last two is pure luck. <laughs> I'm sure hey, you know, you know it's, <laughs> Maybe it's just kind of latent talent, you know. Maybe it's all sort of in, in your mind there and you're just pulling it out when you need yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so question four. In which James Bond film starring Sean Connery does a businessman plan to irradiate America's gold supply with a dirty bomb? Hmm. <laughs> Have you seen this one? <laughs> I don't think so. Is it Goldeneye, From Russia With Love, Doctor No, or Goldfinger? Mm -hmm. um, Maybe there's a clue in the question. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I, that, that's kind of where I was going with it. Um, Phantom saying never seen a Bond film, uh, just saying I don't know. I've seen the... Uh, Roger Moore ones. I've seen, seen Roger Moore mm -hmm. and um, Pierce Brosnan. Because the Roger Moore ones are basically comedies. Yes. Because <laughs> Bunnery was never into Bond films. No. And then I got to watch those and, you know, they're, they're pretty funny. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know about all the serious stuff. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I've seen any of the Sean Connery ones. Mm -hmm. um, ah, Crash That's saying, yeah, that was my logic, but it's not Goldeneye. Yeah, Goldeneye mm -hmm. was Pierce Brosnan, so yeah. I'm going to rule that out. Okay. Goldfinger has the word gold in, yeah. so I'm going to go for that. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jess saying, I thought Goldfinger was about someone who could turn people into gold or cover them with a golden substance. I don't know. That sounds like Midas. I, I think I've seen some sort of clip of something like that happening. Have you? Okay. Like Midas, yeah. yeah. Like the in Midas the song, touch. yeah, he's the man, the with, man the Midas, with the Midas touch. touch. Yeah. Goldfinger. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go Goldfinger, because it's got gold it? in the title. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Cool. <laughs> there you go. Um, so he did also do that. Mm, there you go. <laughs> very good. Yeah. We should probably um, watch those at some point. <laughs> I feel like, you know, in terms of quizzes, Bond films come up a lot. Well, they do. We should revise true. that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, we should. Uh, okay, so you're over half of you getting that right, and Bose on 78 oh, was fastest. Oh, well done. Okay, nice. It's nice to have a newbie up there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Anthony lost his role there. Oh dear. Uh, well. But yeah, nice work there, Boson. Mm. Okay. Uh, oh, Phantom saying my first wrong answer. Oh. No perfect score today. Never no. yeah, mind. I'm sure you're doing still pretty well, though. Which of these fruit are slightly radioactive? <laughs> Not too much to worry about, but yeah, mm. one of these is radioactive fruit. I know where this is going, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Is it bananas, pears, pomegranates, or apples? Mm. How do they get, like, radioactive? I think it maybe happens naturally or something. Yeah, it does happen naturally. Uh, like just saying, I have no idea. Uh, just under half of you saying bananas, mm. and then the rest of you are split between pomegranates and apples. Yeah. Pears now, are totally innocent. Pears are, yeah, I mean, pears are awesome. <laughs> uh, Phantom saying, we were talking about this at work yesterday. That's hysterical. I never knew this. <laughs> and Pansy is now worried about fruit. Yeah. Um, it is a very, very small dose. Um, as long as you don't eat more than 800 bananas a day, then you're quite safe. Yeah, you, you're, good. Mm -hmm. you're good. Yeah, yeah. It's a very tiny bit, but um, it's that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty much negligible. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have ever, it probably doesn't even come out on camera, if you've ever zoomed in to my interference hoodie that I sometimes wear on, uh, on stream and on YouTube, uh, I have a badge that says, warning, contains bananas. Um, mm. because <laughs> bananas are radioactive. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's really, really mild. Um, but um, yeah. oh, hang on, I worry it. that Jess is going to worry about this now. Oh no, she doesn't worry about it. As long as you don't eat more, tell her not to eat yeah. more than 800 a day and then she'll be okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's really interesting, mm. things that are radioactive or things that give you like a minor radiation dose. Mm. For example, um, Things like uh, stuff you wouldn't expect, like if if you are um, oh, thank you, com Phantom. compared with <laughs> sleeping in a bed on your own, mm -hmm. if you share a bed with someone, yeah. you actually get a m minuscule uh, amount more radiation from that. Nothing that you ever have to worry about. <laughs> I know. But, um, it's just an interesting fact. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's interesting. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Good way to become a superhero, though. Yeah, like, like Banana Man. Um, exactly. So, yes, exactly, Ferret. <laughs> um, yeah, if anyone is interested in such things, if you, uh, we, we go to see a Festival of the Spoken Nerd, which is a uh, sort of comedy 
science show kind of thing. Uh, if you look them up, Festival of the Spoken Nerd, they actually cover bananas in their most recent show, mm-hmm. um, and um, uh, which was what you can't polish a nerd, I think. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's very cool. I'll talk about it on Discord later. Yeah, if yeah. interesting. <laughs> Um, that's the end okay so that's it for radioactivity oh. Grinning Goose was fastest there with the bananas she knew about bananas cool mm-hmm. good stuff mm. and that means oh Phantom there you go mm-hmm. you're going for the perfect round it almost <laughs> happened only one down though that's not too bad is it um, so uh, yep yeah, Phantom and Engulf Tick and Crash Thatch all tied for first there wow well, yeah um, getting four right each Tight at the top, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Uh, hey, Anthony, 33. Grinning Goose, 31. Then just one behind there. Um, Amber Hopkins, Ferret, Mr. Tapestry, and Mr. Seller. Got mm. both on 78, on 21. Uh, nice Jess one. on 20, along with Olive Walnut. Rene Enigma, Dom and Jerry, and Bruja, all on 10. Cool. Um, Phantom saying, I had a teacher in my high school who broke her Wi-Fi device in her class because she was afraid of its radiation. Uh, yeah, I, I used to work as a, a network manager uh, <laughs> in education. And, oh, yeah, we had a lot of this. Um, It was at the time when we were starting to roll out Wi-Fi, and um, whenever we put a new access point in, people would complain they were getting headaches. Um, But it was all psychosomatic. Uh, So what we did was replace them with uh, boxes with the the radio disabled in it, and they just had flashing lights. And then they still got headaches. (laughs) And then I said, this is just a box with flashing lights. It's all in your head. And then it stopped. So it was all good. Um, one of the things about being an IT person is um, you, control people. you just get harsh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I okay. digress. Let's all right. See. So let's take these scores, put them into how everyone has done so far. <gasps> Look at that. So it's not yeah. a perfect score anymore, but Phantom's still out in the lead. One, four, yeah. two. Uh, you know, stretching it out a bit now as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Hey Anthony in second place, uh, one, two, five. And Gulf Tick in third place on Ooh, one, two, two. That's very close. Uh, so yeah, it is starting to spread out a little bit now. Mm. Um, yeah, you know. But two more rounds to go, so, mm. you know, anything could happen still. Yeah, Phantom's saying maybe I can just answer eight more fastest. <laughs> could happen. Could happen. <laughs> All right, let's see. So, uh, Banana and Chippy was shown the description, try our new cherry strawberry lemonade, and they wow. drew this. That looks lovely. Mm. <laughs> That's a nice picture. <laughs> it even does look quite sweet, just looking yeah, at it. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, okay, so mm. Jess saying fruit, Am Hopkins beverages. Oh, Phantom described this one. Oh, Excellent. did you? Yeah. yeah, it's cool when you see one. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah, I, remember I remember that in my that. game. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, cherry, mm. strawberry, lemonade. It does sound delicious, doesn't it? Yeah. Don't you mean slightly radioactive, <laughs> Chippy? Yes, this is true. <laughs> That's a new name. Uh, okay, so, yeah, you know, drink, drinks, fruit drinks, beverages. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's see what it is. I, th- I think soft drinks <clears throat> or something like that. How did you get that exactly right? Oh, How did get you do involved. that? <laughs> soft drinks, yeah. Okay, question one. Iron brew is Scotland's national soft drink, which actually contains iron. But where was the very first iron brew produced in 1889? Was it in New York, London, Paris, or Cardiff? So it wasn't actually Scottish originally. And, and did There this... was an iron brew with iron in it, yeah, that was produced in one of these cities. So did this iron brew go on to be what it, we call iron brew? It became days? popular and then um, Scotland decided to do their own version of it and um, bars, I think, is the company that make it. Mm. They started making it and they still make it now. And, and they, it does taste and they great. recently made it sugar free and no one like that. everyone kicked <laughs> off because that didn't go down well in, in, um, no, Scotland. in Scotland. <laughs> you um, can't really describe it, can you? It's very orange. Yeah, yeah. Um, so pe- people in the chat saying uh, national soft drink. Yeah, yeah it is, absolutely. Basically. absolutely. Well, it's not even soft drink. It's national drink. The national yeah. drink of Scotland is Iron Brew. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jess saying, haven't drank in ages. Tastes great. What does it mm. taste like? Never heard of it. Yes, it, it does actually contain a it, fine ferri- ferric oxide or something. It's got something in there that's iron. It tastes of... I don't know. I don't know. What does it taste it like? Tastes it tastes of... Fizzy and orange, not not orange flavored. Orange it doesn't taste orange flavored. It's not particularly fruity, is it? It's... I don't know. <laughs> it um, taste that actually. It's, it's really nice. You have um, to try it. <laughs> you don't really see it south of the border. No. Um, I think I've said before, um, or maybe it was in Discord. Mm. Um, you don't see it here very much. This we're in England, mm-hmm. but as soon as you get into Scotland, 
like you know you get you go to your corner shop here and they've got coke lemonade whatever and all this you go north of the border and then you you go into a shop mm -hmm. and like the fridge is just full of iron brew mm -hmm. and you go to a hotel room and you've got iron brew it. yeah <laughs> And it's awesome. <laughs> um, it, yeah, it's re really good. Anyway, I, I digress. Uh, yeah. I've got no idea here. Guess one. Guess, 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 guess. The most unlikely one. Oh, that's got to be Paris then, hasn't it? No. Oh. <laughs> New York. Came from New York. Yeah, it was American. They invented it. Wow. And bars decided to brew it in Scotland. And now they make it. Wow. Yeah, it's true. I would never have said New it's York. It's totally When true. you said go for the, the most ridiculous one, I, I completely discounted New York. Mm, um, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But iron brew, yes, yeah. you should you should try some. Yeah. Um, I mean, people take iron tablets, so why not have a drink with iron in it? You know? It's good for you. Uh, okay, well, oh, Olive Walnut's yeah. got that fast. Well done, um, Olive. <laughs> I mean, quite possibly the only person. I, I don't know. I should <laughs> could maybe be, could uh, be. <laughs> show a breakdown of who went, uh, the numbers of who went for mm. each one. Um, yeah, just under 10% if you're getting that right. Yeah, yeah. Question two, which fizzy drink was invented by a pharmacist in Waco, Texas, and he named it after a friend of his? Was it Mountain Dew, Root Beer, Dr. Pepper, or Pepsi Cola? Invented. A lot of these drinks were invented by health people who were trying to, you know, help some kind of health problem or... So, I mean, everyone's gone for Dr. Pepper. I mean, before the answers came up, I thought, I mean, that's got to be Dr. Pepper. Yeah. I mean, we don't really... <laughs> Get Dr. Pepper here, do we? I think you can you get can it. You can get it, but you don't see it. That is in the supermarket, I think. Um, yeah, I uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, Just his brother likes Dr. Pepper. <laughs> uh, okay, mm. Auntie, so my questions aren't showing up. Yeah, um, okay, <laughs> if, if things have got stuck, just refresh the stream and you should be okay. It could be Mr. Mountain, Mr. Root. <laughs> well, I mean, root beer, I guess, is... Okay, um... <laughs> But I'm, I'm, I'm being, being <laughs> shaken head up there, so I'll, I'll stop talking. No, let's not talk about um, it. Okay. Um, Dr. Cola, yeah. I mean, I mean, Pepsi has cool. to be named after something. Or maybe that's like two It could have been somebody names. Pepsi, couldn't yeah. they? You know, remember Pepsi and Shirley? That was a band. It's, it's got to be Dr. Pepper, surely. Yeah, yeah surely. Yeah, yeah there that's we go. right. Okay, so <laughs> all of you getting that right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who was fastest, though? Green, Green Goose. Goose. <laughs> nice one. Two and a quarter seconds. Oh, no, good. You need those points. <laughs> Okay, question three. Root beer got its name from the bark of a tree root that was used to flavour it. What tree did it come from? Was it the oak tree, the maple tree, the sassafras tree, or the cypress tree? Sassafras. I mean, I was just going to say root beer is made from a root. Mm -hmm. I, so I wouldn't have actually... It's the bark it. of a root, yeah. <laughs> well, which one? I might be mixing two <clears> things. Or am I likely to spoil it if I say anything. Mm -mm. Okay. No, good um yeah, I I thought it was something to do with sarsaparilla. Um sarsaparilla. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it has very similar flavour, yeah. To sarsaparilla. It's just what we have over here, isn't it? Oh uh, well I don't know. That's um, a big thing in, in Lancashire, sarsaparilla. Okay. I loved it. Um mm. so I mean sassafras is, is the most popular here. Yeah. Uh, Jess saying root beer is not what the Americans call ginger beer, but a different thing entirely. It's not ginger. No, well, I'm because sure. you get root ginger, so I mean, mm. I I see where that. That's no, no, from. ginger beer is completely different. Root beer is lovely. Um, mm. I like ginger as well, Mister Seller. Oh, it's my favourite thing. It, now, I is root beer the thing that tastes the, like sarsaparilla. The thing that I say tastes like mouthwash. Mm. It tastes like germline. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Matt Oatman used to get pink ointment. Yeah. <laughs> Does, doesn't really do it oh, for no, me. Oh no, it's really nice. I love it. Mm. Weird. Yeah. I'm going to have to buy some now because um, I really want some. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, all right. So most of you are going for uh, sassafras tree. Yeah. So it's not actually anything to do with sarsaparilla then? That's something. No, I think sarsaparilla also comes from the sarsaparilla. Because sarsaparilla I'm thinking tree. sass. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Okay. But they don't use that anymore because it turned out to be um, some kind of um, bad thing in it. I think it made you a bit, you know, psychotic. Okay. So they had to stop using that. So they use a different route now, but originally it came from the sassafras tree. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. uh, Phantom saying, I can't drink anything carbonated, makes me ill. Yeah, yeah I used to be like that, but mm. then I kind of got into it in a little bit later in yeah. life. <laughs> but, uh, I used to have to sort of beat the fizz yeah, out yeah, with a, with a spoon like or a straw all. or something, no. um, which I learned when I worked in a pub. Um, mm -hmm. You could like take the fizz out of drinks by yeah. um, stirring them a bit. 
Okay. Okay, and hey, Anthony mm. was fastest there. He knows about root beer. Just under a second and a half. <coughs> yeah, yeah, knows his root beer. Question four. Which of these classic cocktails is made using a cola-flavoured soft drink? Is it the Cosmopolitan, the Margarita, the Cuba Libre, or the Pina Colada? Which of those would you put Coke in? Gola. I think I know that. Gola. I think you like these, don't you? Yep. Uh, okay, almost everyone's saying Cuba Libre. Mm. Uh, someone's gone for Cosmopolitan. I forget mm. what Cosmopolitan is. <laughs> is that got tequila? I think it might be. I'm not sure. Uh, but a Cuba Libre is uh, rum and coke. That's right. Yeah. Um, just the, uh, the the fancy name <clears> for it. <throat> uh, oh yes, well, very true actually. Rum and coke with lime. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah. It's an important bit. Um, okay, oh, hey, Anthony's saying questions keep disappearing. Oh, um, I hope not. Okay, yeah, if you are having some weirdness, if you could just let us know about it in Discord afterwards, I can try and debug it. Um, but just try and refreshing the page or something? Yeah, as, as I say, if you do have any problems, if you just do a quick refresh, uh, you should be all good, hopefully. <laughs> uh, Jess saying, I chose the one I never heard of. Uh, mm -hmm. Same, Jess, same and same, says Phantom. <laughs> Human Cell had, uh, had yesterday, actually. Yeah. Um, Actually, um, yeah, Ferret had one yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, so oh, no, 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 she no, didn't. Ferret didn't. No, no. Um, no, no. I it did. Is, uh... Well, without the line, we didn't mm. have line. Um, we had it. We had a, a dance party. I th apparently, there may be video of this appearing on Discord what? later. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, Ferret doesn't like rum. Yeah, right. um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, okay, most of you getting that right. And humid cellar, Mr. fastest. Humid cellar. Oh, he must like a nice Cuba Libre. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, this is sort of accents, really. <laughs> hey, Anthony, calling me out correctly. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not Libre. It's <laughs> Libre. Libre. Yeah. yeah. Um, from um, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. You've got that the quickest. So there's some sort of discussion here about um, whether rum is any good or not. <laughs> Come on, let's get on with the question. Okay. <laughs> so final one then. Which of these is a device that lets you add carbon dioxide to any drink to make it fizzy? Is it a Nespresso, an Amazon Dash, a Teas Made, or a Soda Stream? I was talking about trying to get hold of one of these a mm, while ago. They're very well, expensive they're now. They're really expensive. You can't get yeah. hold of them very easily. Uh, crash that saying the carbonizer. The carbonizer. The million of TV ads have helped. Yeah, I mean. I don't think they're as well known over no, here. No, everyone I mean, used to have them one time. Mm. I think they're quite big in America, mm. aren't they? Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, not so much here. I mean, no one uses them these days very much, do they? Well, not over here, they don't. No, I mean, yeah, as I say, I, I kind of looked at them. They're like 100 quid or something. And I was just mm. like, no. <laughs> uh, so, uh, okay, everyone going for SodaStream. Mm -hmm. That's, That's right. the right answer. Yeah, yeah. You know what else is really expensive? What? Teas made. Yeah. No. <laughs> I was going to get a ferret one for a birthday, <laughs> but like they're really expensive as well. Yeah. Um, okay, so everyone's saying Soda Stream, and Mr. Tapestry fastest, just over a, half, a second and a half. Mm. Maybe he's got one at home. Mm, quite possibly. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was it. Wow. So finishing on top there, perfect round, Olive Walnuts. Wow, well done. Nice Every work. question right. Mm. Uh, Grin and Goose and Mr. Tapestry, uh, mm. 10 points behind on 41. Mm. Uh, then Jess, Phantom, Engulf, Tick and Ferret all on 40. Got a Humid Teller on 31. Amber Hopkins, Ray Enigma, Crash Satch, both on 78, all on 30. Got Hey Anthony on 21. Bruja on 10. I think maybe Shaz and Riven, Dumb and Joey are having a bit of internet problem or something. Yeah, could be, could yeah. be. That's the problem with live things like this. Mm, look at that, Phantom is still at the top. <gasps> Engulf Tick is coming up second. Ooh, okay, yeah. He's so... re overtaken Hey Anthony now. Mm, mm. It's all kind of jumping around here, it is, isn't, isn't it? it? So, yeah, Phantom in the lead on 182, mm -hmm. Engulf Tick on 162, and then Hey Anthony on 146. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's pretty close, though. You know, yeah. you've got, got Goose, Mr. Tapestry, Amber Hopkins, Olive Walnut, yeah. Crash Dash. I mean, you know, they're all still pretty Fighting close. for third place there. Mm. <laughs> the okay. spinning thing has gone away. The spinny thing has gone well, away. That's ah. interesting because this is the point where Ava tends to get. Oh, she just spit this. After, yeah, after round four, isn't it? But someone ferret, I think, has said, "Oh, hey, Ava's still here." Uh, mm. It turns out there is actually a, a bug logged with Mixer saying about uh, bot chat connections getting disabled okay. after about an hour. Oh, um, okay. And so we've been here yeah, for about an hour. We've been talking for too long. 
Um, but yes, the spinning thing has disappeared. No idea what's happened there. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I put it in earlier this afternoon and haven't actually tested it because uh, it was such a small change. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Now anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe it just gets covered up by the leaderboard. Oh, it's back. Cool. Um, oh, Ava's still here. Maybe this bug is fixed now. Mm, maybe it is, yeah. Uh, okay, so afterwards was shown the description the mouse has created a paint masterpiece of a showering dog. That's a very nice How masterpiece. Random. Yeah. Uh, that's a great drawing, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. really <laughs> cute. <laughs> Excellent. Dogs in showers, that'd be a good category to ask questions about. <laughs> that would be very specific. Yeah, I, think, I don't know how to find questions on that. Um, so, yeah, paintings, what? mice, arts, breakfast treats, showering dogs, yeah, dogs in showers. <laughs> I'd love it if we had a round on dogs in showers or something. I don't even know how <laughs> I don't know that would what be. kind of questions you get for that. I like how when people are guessing and start very focused, mm. then it gets kind of gradually wider and wider, yeah. you know. I think, art, um, bathrooms. Yeah, I think Amber yeah. is getting close. And... Bob Ross. Mm, Bob, uh, we love Bob Ross. He's awesome. He's our muse. <laughs> All right, shall we see? That's what it is. Masterpieces. Masterpieces. No, oh, okay, because he did create a masterpiece. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. He did mention that, yeah. Okay. Oh, am I doing this? Mm. All right. So, first one on Masterpieces then. Ah, Masterpiece Theatre. Mm -hmm. Or Monsterpiece Theatre with Cookie Monster from... Um, <laughs> Uh, Sesame Street. Yeah. <laughs> okay, first up then. Who painted the scream? A picture of a screaming person on a bridge in Oslo. Was it Vincent van Gogh, John Constable, William Blake, or Edvard Munch? Mm -hmm. I think it's a very famous painting, isn't it? It is. Um, we actually painted. <laughs> we had a to do a version, didn't we? Yeah. We used to go to a painting class mm -hmm. every so often. Yeah. And, um, we did our own. Yeah, uh, except. I somehow, I don't know, maybe I'd had some wine or something. I decided instead of the, the screaming guy, I did one of the silence from Doctor Who. <laughs> Part of my can't draw, so it came out really badly. But, you know, the concept was interesting. <laughs> anyway, a lot of people have gone for Edward Okay, Edvard most Munch. people went for Edward Munch. Uh, got a few for Vincent van Gogh, a few for William Blake. Phantom saying, that's awesome. No, you didn't see the picture. Um, <laughs> Because I, I kind of got part way through doing it and then changed to try and do that, and it didn't really recover. <laughs> I'll, I'll see if I can um, find it. It's probably mm. downstairs somewhere. And, I think um, Oslo was a, a little clue as to the nationality of the painter. Ah, uh, that's true. But yeah, apparently it was a bridge in Oslo. <laughs> um, but yes, perhaps I'll get a picture of my picture and put it on the <laughs> yeah. later. Okay. Uh, okay, so most of you go in Edward Monk, mm. and that's the right answer. Exactly. Because he was Norwegian. Oh, Ferret was fastest. Wow. Maybe Ferret also went to that class. <laughs> yes, possibly she did, actually. There you go. She came to some of them. <laughs> um, okay, so next up, which artist made his own picture shred itself in its frame just after it had been sold for over a million pounds? Was it David Hockney, Banksy, Jasper Johns, or Damien Hurst? That was quite recent, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't that long ago, was no. it? It was only a few months ago. It was and it was news. hilarious. It was brilliant. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, a little bit of spread opinion. Damien yeah, yeah. Hurst, David Hockney. Most people going for Banksy, though. Mm -hmm. uh, Phantom saying, I only know about this from a previous quiz because oh. someone drew a picture of it and you yeah. used it for I did, a didn't I? Yeah, yeah. It did appear in interviews. Um, but yes, it was Banksy. Mm hmm. Most of you getting that right. Yeah, it was like a drawing of a girl holding a balloon. Mm hmm. Uh, or maybe the balloon was a heart or something. Yeah, and it was in a frame, wasn't In this it? really thick frame, and they were auctioning it at Sotheby's or mm -hmm. something, some posh auction house, uh, and the hammer goes down on it, and then this siren started coming out of the out of the picture, and everyone turned around, and then the picture just comes down out of it, going through a shredder into, um, <clears> like, just getting into, well, literal shreds. Yeah, but it um, got stuck halfway down, so you got half the picture and half shredded. Mm -hmm. Um, it was meant to shred the whole thing, but it didn't. But um, it's cool, though. It's, like, worth even more money yeah. now. <laughs> Art. Yeah, I just look it up on the news. It was brilliant. <laughs> okay. Ferret was fast as hell. Oh, two in a row for Ferret. Um, mm. So, a three quarters of a second. Wow. Very nice. Okay. Uh, next up, which work of art is the most visited painting in the world? Mm. Is it The Night Watch, The Mona Lisa... Starry Night or The Last Supper? Which one would you go and visit? Before these came up, I was going to say The Mona Lisa. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, Starry Night, I mean, that's great. I'd love to it's see that. It's not quite as popular, I'm thinking. Same with the Night Watch. I mean, The Last Supper could be. I mean, I'd still go for the Mona Lisa. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, have you seen, like, a picture of people looking at the Mona mm. Lisa? It's such I a mean, tiny picture. They're just it? rammed in oh, there, Oh, yeah, yeah. They? Cues and cues, yeah. Uh, Phantom saying, Starry Night's my favourite. I like that. that Mona Lisa mm. at The Last Supper. Uh, line before the Louvre is awful uh, yeah. in the cellar saying yeah yeah exactly um, I, I, I love Starry Night it's great mm, I do yeah I can um, see that one it's really, <laughs> we actually did a version of Starry Night at our painting class as well didn't we mm-hmm. I mean we did didn't mm. we that's right yeah Crash that's saying I saw an episode of Pointless where people had to name a famous artwork Mona Lisa was said by all 100 people yeah it's, it's the one everyone the mo- knows, everyone knows um, for those of you outside the UK <laughs> um, Pointless is basically reverse family feud yeah um, if, if you're in the US we were on Pointless years ago uh, and um, it was two great. episodes yeah, yeah it was good yeah, fun two episodes of it uh, just you know drop, dropping that out there yeah uh, so um, yeah Mona Lisa very uh, popular mm-hmm. and, and very right <laughs> everyone getting that right <laughs> and hey Anthony was past oh, this good under one. a second just by a smidge there mm. Okay, so next up, who painted the creation of Adam on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in Rome? Was it Bodger and Sons, Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, or Raphael? Bodger and Sons are quite good um, decorators. No, I, I'm, I'm just sort of <laughs> laughing because, I mean, I almost said Leonardo DiCaprio for some reason. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, mm. Yeah, I, oh, wow. just, just You've saying, seen I'm not it. sure this either. Fantastic. <clears throat> Phantom seen it in summer. Hey, Anthony's saying, it's definitely a Ninja Turtle. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. <laughs> definitely one of the Ninja Turtles, yeah. <laughs> um, Leonardo, mm. Michelangelo. You know, I mean, some, I was, you know well, I, well, I thought I did. You I mean, do. I was I was thinking Leonardo da Vinci, but like that, you know, three quarters of you say Michelangelo. Oh, I'm doubting myself now. Yeah, maybe it was Michelangelo. Yeah, yeah, Michelangelo. Uh, which turtle is missing? Uh, ah. Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, Donatello. Donatello, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, you're right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my mind. Michelangelo. I think you're all right. Mm, yeah. There of we course, go. What's yeah. uh, that? <laughs> saying under pressure. I couldn't think. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Mm. Under pressure, turtle. Um, yeah, no one talks about Donatello, do they? Didn't they have to redo part of it after people looked closely at it? I'm not sure. I don't know, really, because I mean, it's been there a long time. I'm not sure. Maybe there was like an Easter egg in it or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Although, isn't there some sort of... Oh, he added some interesting details. Okay, right. I can <laughs> see where that's going. Yeah, Renaissance art. That's, <laughs> that, yeah, that's how they rolled, really. Um, okay, so Amber oh, Hopkins well done, was fastest there. <laughs> Under a second, we've got some fast answers we here. We have. <clears throat> so, on to the final question of this week. Okay, so last one then. Claude Monet painted water lilies in his own garden at which French location? Was it Nimes, Carcassonne, Giverny, or Toulouse? I have literally no idea. You don't? I think it's mentioned quite a lot. Uh, I think it might be mentioned in some of the titles. Because he did a lot of water lily paintings. It wasn't just one. Yeah, you see, Crash is actually saying one of those is a board game. I, I was ruling out oh, Carcassonne. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> we have the board game Carcassonne, and I thought that was um, what you were... Has it got any water lilies in it? Well, no, it has water, though. Um, I, I got no idea. Oh, OK. So is Carcassonne an actual city, then? Mm. Mm, interesting. Um, maybe they named Carcassonne the game after this because it was famous. Yeah, OK. All right. All right. I'm going to second guess myself here and say Carcassonne. What was your first guess yourself? I don't know memes, <laughs> but like I, I don't, I have literally no idea. That was just okay. I thought it was random. quite famous this one. Okay, no idea. I guess you either know it or you don't. Oh, okay, Giverny. Giverny. Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay, so most of you getting that wrong. Somebody um, got it right though. I'll be just one very impressed to find out who got that right. It was Phantom. Phantom. Saying lucky guess. 
Um, just under five seconds. Took a little while to think about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, doesn't look like a very French name. Um, Giverny. Yeah, I think it's possibly in the pronunciation yeah. that makes it seem French, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, oui. Um, may we? Uh, okay, <laughs> so this round then. Wow, perfect round again yeah, from Phantom go, and yeah. Grinning Goose. So uh, Phantom won ahead though, getting a fast answer mm. right at the end there, I guess. Um, all look French to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course, but yeah, I mean, you know, because um, speaking French in um, Canada and, and all that. Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, Ferret on 42, Hey Anthony on 41, just one behind. Uh, and we've got uh, Jess Crashlatch and Mr. Tapestry all on 40. Amber Hopkins on 31. Olive Walnut and Gold Tick Humid Cellar all on 30. Then we've got Rene Enigma and Bose on 78 on 20. Bruger on 10. So here we go. Who's going to end up on top <gasps> overall? Do I think, think maybe Phantom has just managed it. I think, I think it's going to be Phantom. Mm, what's happening? All right, let's take those numbers and put them into the other <gasps> leaderboard. Yay, Phantom! Phantom pulling your head on two, oh, three, three. That's more than Grinning Goose last, got last yeah. week. So yeah. last week's high score, 226. So, you know, you've gone over that. Even that higher score. Good stuff. Mm. Uh, so in second place, we've got Grinning Goose on 193 and then Engulf Tick on 192. So pretty tight there. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, it's still kind of kind of close up at the top. You know, we've got some 180s, 170s. Mm. You know, that's only one, one question away, really. Absolutely. Wow, excellent stuff. Yeah, I look at Boson on 71, that's mm. good for a first time. Yeah, yeah, uh, Brilliant. and uh, yeah, yeah, you know, Boson came in part way through, uh, so yeah, doing uh, doing pretty good there. Bruja came in uh, towards the end as well, oh, yeah, so true. you know, they've done, uh, Got they've some done pretty points cool. on there too, yeah. Uh, you know, if you enjoyed it, then feel free to join us from the start next yeah. week. We're back here every week at 7pm <laughs> UK time, basically an hour before now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me just bring us oh, back oh, yeah. here. There we go. Hello again, everyone. Yeah, well done, Phantom. <laughs> uh, yeah, so congratulations, Phantom. Yeah, that was, um, that was excellent work. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, very close there, Green and Goose and Engulf Tick. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Phantom just edging ahead towards yeah. the end. Uh, so thank you everyone for joining us. Hopefully yeah. you enjoyed that. If you did like it, then it would be great if you could hit that follow button under the stream. Yeah. It'll let you know next time we're doing something like this. Yeah, and tell your friends. And if you tell your friends, yeah, yeah. anyone you know who likes too. a little quiz, you get them over here as well. Mm -hmm. The more people, the better. Yeah. Uh, so if you'd like to join us for some post-quiz chat, uh, we have a Discord server, which you mm -hmm. can find over at playinterference.com slash Discord. Uh, there's a link down in the channel description if you mm -hmm. want to just click that. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, if you want to uh, maybe see one of your own drawings used as inspiration for a round in the quiz next week, mm -hmm. you can go and try playing Interference yourself. Yeah. Uh, you can get it at playinterference.com or if you search for Interference in the App Store on Windows and Android, uh, mm -hmm. you can download the app. Boson says thank you for organising. Awesome. Fun. We're yeah. glad you had fun. Yeah. Uh, as we say, we're here every week. Every um, Sunday. So, uh, yeah, 7 p.m. UK time. So yeah. basically now minus an hour next week uh, we'll be yeah. uh, starting again. We're normally around for a little pre-quiz chat a bit yeah. before that. Just come and join us. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, as I say, it's all good fun. And uh, congratulations to everyone who took part. Yeah. Uh, so next up on this channel on Wednesday, uh, we have uh, Interference and Chill with Ferret, who you've seen in the chat here. Mm -hmm. She does some live drawing in Interference. Uh, yeah. And you can also uh, interfere with, with her drawing mm -hmm. as she's playing it uh, through uh, the power of mixed play. You yeah. can do things like take away her colours, turn off her undo, or give her extra time if you're nice like that. And look out for Hey Anthony, because he plays on well. He yeah, as well. He streams um, himself playing. Yeah, Hey Anthony, who you've mm -hmm. seen in the quiz and in the chat here uh, yeah. he started streaming as well uh, you should totally go and check out his channel yeah. over at uh, mixer.com slash hey Anthony yeah. just click him in the chat there's a follow button that pops up there and then you can find out when he's online mm -hmm. could be any time couldn't it uh, oh there we go he's posted the link there oh That's brilliant well. <laughs> well done <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah as I say if you want to join us for a chat on mm -hmm. discord after this feel free to head over there yeah. but otherwise yeah we will catch you all same time next week yeah bye bye have a great rest of your day we'll see you, see you then see bye you. bye